रिलेशन ऑफ कॉन्ग्रुएंस मॉड्यूलो ए सब ग्रुप एच इन ए ग्रुप जी डेफिनेशन लेट एच बी ए सब ग्रुप ऑफ ए ग्रुप जी फॉर ए बी बिलोंग टू जी वी से दैट ए इज कॉन्ग्रुएन टू बी मॉड्यूलो एच इफ एंड ओनली इफ ए एन टू बी इनवर्स बिलोंग्स टू एच Symbolically, we write A is congruent to B mod H if and only if A into B inverse belongs to H. Theorem: The relation of congruency in a group G is defined by A is congruent to B mod H if and only if A into B inverse belongs to H is an equivalence relation. Proof. To prove the theorem, we have to show that the relation of congruency is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. Reflexivity. Let A be any element of the group g then a into a inverse is equal to e which is identity element of g belong to h since h is a subgroup of g therefore a is congruent a mod h for all a belongs to g hence the relation is reflexive symmetric let a is congruent to b modulo h implies that a into b inverse belongs to h implies that a into b inverse whole inverse belongs to h as h is a subgroup implies that b inverse into a inverse sorry b into a inverse belongs to h implies that b is congruent to b is congruent to a modulo h therefore the relation is symmetric transitivity let a is congruent to b modulo h and b is congruent to c modulo h then by def definition of congruent by definition of congruence a into b inverse belongs to h and b into c inverse belongs to h but h is a but h is a subgroup of g and thus h must be closed with respect to composition in g therefore a into b inverse into b into c inverse belongs to h implies that a into b inverse into b into c inverse belongs to h by associativity in h implies that a into e into c inverse belongs to h implies that a into c inverse belongs to h implies that a is congruent to c modulo h hence the relation is transitive therefore the relation congruence mod h is an equivalence relation in g therefore it will partition g into disjoint equivalence classes if a inside square bracket is the equivalence class corresponding to a belongs to g then we shall show that equivalence class a is equal to the right coset h a by definition of equivalence classes we have equivalence class 
of A is equal to those x belongs to G such that x is congruent to A modulo H. Let Z be an arbitrary element of H A. Then Z belongs to H A implies that Z into A inverse belongs to H A into A inverse. Operating A inverse on both sides, we have Z into A inverse belongs to H A into A inverse implies that Z A inverse belongs to H E implies that Z A inverse belongs to H implies that J is congruent to A modulo H implies that Z belongs to the equivalence class of A. Hence, H is a subset of the equivalence class of A. That is, H is contained in the equivalence class of A. Now, let Y belongs to the equivalence class of A. Implies that Y is congruent to A modulo H. Implies that Y into A inverse belongs to H. Implies that Y into A inverse into A belongs to H. Implies that Y into E that is Y belongs to H. Implies that the equivalence class of A is contained in H A that is equivalence class of A is a subset of the right coset H A. Hence, hence right coset H A is a subset of the equivalence class of A and equivalence class of A is a subset of the right coset H A which implies that equivalence class of A is equal to H A that is right coset of H in G. Therefore, the partition of G induced by this equivalence relation is nothing but the right coset decomposition of G with respect to H. Every right coset of H in G is non-empty. Two right cosets of H in G are either identical or disjoint. The union of all right cosets of H in G will be equal to G. Example 1. If G is the additive group of integers and H is the subgroup of G obtained on multiplying the elements of G by 5, then we have G is equal to H union the right coset H plus 1 union H plus 2 union H plus 3 plus H plus 4. Since there are 5 distinct right cosets of H in G, so index of H in G is 5. Example 2. Let G be the group of all permutations of degree 3 that is G is equal to S3 which consists of the elements identity function 1 2 1 3 2 3 1 2 3 and 1 3 2 these are all permutations and H be the subgroup 1 1 2 the number of elements in each right coset of H in G will be 2 and the number of elements in G is 6. So, so we shall have 3 distinct right cosets. It can be seen that G is equal to H union H 
into 2, 3, union h into 1, 3. The left crochet decomposition of G with respect to H is G is equal to H union 2, 3 H union 1, 3 H.